Hello there, I'm Jody, and I'm going to give you some tips for securing mobility devices in a Ford E-Transit with a side lift. First, I'm going to open the lift door and push unfold on the controller. Then down. My goal is solid frame attachments, 45 degree belt angles for the front and back, direct belt path, lap and shoulder belt correctly positioned, four correct floor securements. Sometimes you have to step on the lift to get the guard to lay down flat. There we go. My first guest today, Dawson, is using an electric mobility device so he can drive himself on facing the vehicle. I ask him to turn off his power. Then I secure this belt. And make sure he holds the yellow handles if he's able. I like to hold on to the chair just to give them some added security. Tell Dawson that we are about to go up and push up on the lift controller. Now he drives in and positions himself near the front of the vehicle while I stow the lift. Remember to talk through each step of this process with your guests. I am voicing over tips on this video for training purposes. I inspected his chair as he was riding up the lift and noticed there aren't any good securement points in the front. So I'm going to use a blue webbing loop. Basically, you loop it around the middle pole and push one loop through the other. It's a little tricky sometimes, but it sure helps. There we go. Now usually your front retractors are positioned wider than the frame, but since they are both going to one contact point, they will be narrow. Push the retractor down into the track, then push the red button to release tension. Then hook the hook onto the blue strap. Now I tighten the tension by turning these. For the next retractor, I'm going to do the same thing. Now for the back securements. The one on the right needs to have the seat belt buckle. Now since the front securements were narrow, the back will be wide. Remember, this is different than what we usually do. I'm going to attach the hook to a solid frame member using a direct path. It's a little more than a 45 degree angle because I need to fit two other chairs in here. If you were only picking up two guests, you could move the retractor back and create a better angle. The left retractor needs to have the other part of the seat belt. I put it in the floor track and push the red button to release tension. Hook it to a solid frame member and tighten it up. Now I'm going to secure the guest using the lap and shoulder belt. First I get the buckle side to the proper length. We want it right on the hip. Practice doing this so you get faster at it than me. There we go. For the other side, you want the belt right next to the body, not going over the arms of the chair. This chair has a gap that I can slide it down. Bring it across the guest's torso and... Buckle it in. If your guest can't hold it, just lay it over the arm of the chair. Make sure it's secure and not twisted. 
When you are done, always make sure you have four floor securements and your guest feels secure. Now on to guest two. This is Walker and he is using a manual wheelchair. So I need to push him on backwards so his center, center of gravity is nearest the vehicle. I set his brakes, secure the belt, and have him hold on to the yellow handles if he can. I tell Walker we're about to go up and push up on the controller. This time, I walk around and into the vehicle to help Walker inside. Now I'm going to unlock his brakes while holding onto his chair. Then I'm going to guide him backwards, being super careful not to hit his feet on anything. Once we get into position, I'm going to lock his brakes again. There we go. The front securements go wider than the frame. I put the retractor in the track. And I attach the hook to a solid frame member using a direct pass. Tighten it up. On the other side, I do the same thing. Notice how I'm getting as close to the seat as possible. That will help prevent tip overs. Now on to the back securements. They will go narrow and inside the wheels. Again, here the angle is a little greater than 45 degrees because I need room for one more mobility device. If I was only transporting two, I could move the retractor back and give myself a better angle. That's not bad. This time, I'm going to check for movement. I release the brakes, and I'm going to do the push-pull test. Nice, looks good. Let's reapply those brakes. Now I'm going to secure Walker using the lap and shoulder belt. First, I get the buckle side to the proper length. We want it right on the hip, remember. For the other side, you want the belt right next to the body and not going over the arms of the chair. This chair also has a gap that I can slide it down. I bring it across his torso and buckle it in. Again, when you are done, always make sure you have four floor securements and your guest feels safe. Now transporting three guests to all use mobility devices in this vehicle doesn't happen too often, but I wanted to show you how to do it if you had to. Also, keep in mind that these are smaller mobility devices, so if you had some larger ones, you may only be able to fit two. Hey look, it's Dawson's twin brother Edward. He doesn't have a fancy electric chair like Dawson, so I will load him facing me. Remember where we want that center of gravity. And don't forget, it's important to talk to your guests and explain each step of this process. So I'm going to walk inside the vehicle. And release his brakes while holding on to the wheelchair. And gently and slowly position him into place. This is a little tricky. You don't want to lift him up in the chair. So you're basically just going to go back and forth, back and forth, until you get him into the desired position. So 
sometimes they can help you and sometimes they can't. Just be patient and eventually you'll get it. There we go. I'm gonna set the brakes. Remember, the front securements go wider than the frame. I put the retractor in the track and attach the hook to a solid frame member using a direct path. My 45 degree angle looks awesome. Oops, I forgot my retractor. There it is. On the right side, I do the same thing. Remember, you don't want any twists in the belt. Attaching to a solid frame member, 45 degree angle, tighten it up. Now on to the back securements. They will go narrow and inside the wheels. Practice this and you'll get better. I'm a little rusty. Attaching them both to a solid frame member using a direct path. And I got my 45 degree angle and tighten them up. Now it's time to check for movement. I release the brakes and do the push-pull test. Nice, looks good. Reapply those brakes. Now I'm going to secure them using the lap and shoulder belt. First I get the buckle side to the proper length. Remember, you want it right on the hip. Notice how I put it right under that armrest? There we go. Remember, you want the belt right next to the body. This chair's arms are connected with no gap, so I need to unhook the strap from the bottom retractor and thread it through the armrest and then connect it back to the retractor. And I'm going to grab the belt, bring it across his torso, and buckle it in. And that buckle is right on the hip. You want that shoulder belt on the shoulder and make sure it crosses the guest's torso. Again, when you're done, always make sure you have four floor securements and your guest feels safe. <laughs>